able to skip over the gearbox install uh, just because it's quick and simple. Literally four bolts, it's in. <clears throat> but I did want to touch on a couple of quick tips. And that is when installing a reman, um, especially a reman or a new gearbox, um, they build it and then they paint it. <laughs> and so all your threads get covered in paint. Um, and that can tend to make uh, installing a little difficult. Uh, and so before I install it, I go through and I clean everything up, uh, take a wire brush to it, and then just you know clean out all the paint off the threads, off of, uh, the splines. <clears throat> and then I'll, I'll go a step farther and, uh, and, and then my particular case, I've got the steering shaft out um, but I'll go ahead and make sure that it slides in in place easily, relatively. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and make sure. Uh, it does come chipped with fluid in it, so be aware. It can make a little bit of a mess. Um, and then as well as the pitman arm i'll clean it up and then make sure it'll slide on uh, now it's a press it's a tapered spline so it's not going to go all the way on but you want to make sure that it goes on and off the splines easily as well as oh, right here the nut make sure that goes on nice and smooth. So a little easier to work on the bench doing all this than it is when it's on the Jeep. So while it's out, recommend doing those to just make the next steps a lot easier. Okay.